Hello everyone, this is Sujit Kumar Jha and in this video I am going to discuss about a very beautiful question that is uh, related to modern physics and concept involved in this question is when a surface which is illuminated by photons then that surface experiences a force due to change in linear momentum of photon. Okay, uh, first of all understand what is the question want to say then proceed to solve this question and question is in a thought experiment, an evacuated tube of mass M and length L close at its end by two discs of mass M1 and M2 stay at rest in free, free space. If a photon of frequency mu is emitted from one disc and absorbed at the other, find the displacement of the tube in this process. Denote the Planck constant by H and the speed of light by C. First of all, understand that this is a disc. These are the two discs which is enclosed by an evacuated tube. One disc, one disc emitted photon, a single photon. Fo uh, and frequency of that photon is equals to mu that is given in question. So you can say that this is this photon had frequency mu and because this photon is emitted from this surface and collide to this surface so you can apply conservation of linear momentum here and uh, on the basis of conservation of linear momentum momentum of photon plus momentum of system will be equals to zero because initially that system keeps in rest momentum of photon because this photon emitted with frequency mu and the speed of light is uh, you well known that c so you can say that momentum of photon is equals to h mu by c plus momentum of this system that is equal equals to zero if you're talking about uh, magnitude of this equation so momentum of system is equals to h mu by c because we already know that th uh, this photon is moving in this side so this system will move in opposite side of emission of photon momentum of system is equals to h mu by c and that's momentum of system is equals to m1 plus m2 plus m into v v is the velocity of the system and m1 plus m2 plus m is the total mass of the system in which m1 is the mass of one disc m2 is the mass of second disc and m is the mass of uh, the evacuated tube if you equate this equation then you get a speed of the system that and that is equals to h mu by m1 plus m2 plus m into c okay this photon is moving with a speed of light c and it has to travel for length L. Then time lag between emission of emission from this uh, surface to collision to this uh, second surface is equals to T equals to L by C. And uh, we have to calculate displacement of this system in this time period. So displacement. of the system is equals to velocity into time and from this equation you get the displacement of the system and that is equals to h mu l by m1 plus m2 plus m into c squared this is the final result thank you